kiongozi wetu rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Dr. William Samoe Ruto waheshimiwa mawaziri the chief principal my lord bishop vijana wa mranga hai muko sawa god is good and all the time asante sana nimeshukuru sana kufika hapa hii shule ya Moranga High School ya Excellence nikisoma zamani Kianyaga High School walikuwa natuangaisha kutoka kwa masomo kwa mpira kila kitu na kwa hivyo mimi natolea nyinyi kofia and i'm happy i'm happy to hear that you continue to excel your excellency your support for our education system is clear to everybody on ascending to the office that people of Kenya mandated you to you establish the presidential working party on educational reforms to work around issues of CBC and other interventions in the education sector. And that is why we are asking the people of Kenya to support the government in all matters to do with education because we need to create a foundation for our children. It is in that light that we request our judges to exercise judicial notice of the challenges in our education system and more so in the city of Nairobi. Your Excellency, in the city of Nairobi, many children do not go to school because for lacking food. And the governor of Nairobi, in a very innovative and creative manner, came up with a school feeding program to feed pupils in those schools to encourage higher enrollment. It was therefore shocking that a court in this country can stop a program to feed children who have no food. I don't know what law, I don't know what consideration. That is something that looks straightforward to everybody, that any food available from anybody is good for our children. So we request our courts, even as they enforce the law, as they interpret the law, to take judicial notice of the reality of the country that we live in. Your Excellency, since our bishop is here, we have tremendous respect for our church leaders. As practicing Christians, we submit to the authority. Bishop, when you get an opportunity to talk to your colleagues, these matters that are going on in the country, sometimes it would help if they look at the matter in context. I saw a statement, Catholic bishops asking the president to sit down with the opposition. If the bishops had taken time to study what is happening today, they would have seen it's a pattern. It has not started today. What is happening in the country is a continuation of political blackmail to get into government. My Lord Bishop, if you check 1997, that leader of official opposition created problems. President Moy brought him into government through cooperation. In the year 2007, he created problems. Moy Kebake brought him to government through Nusomukate. In the year 2017, he created problems and President Uhuru Kenyatta brought him through the handshake that destabilized the Jubilee government. So what is happening today is in script. Blackmail is a crime in our penal code. So bishops, with respect, when you ask the president to sit down with a blackmailer, you are asking the president of Kenya to commit a crime. And, and uh, it, is, it is good to be truthful because you are a man of God. This thing is not happening in isolation. It is a script that has happened after every five years. And bishops, you know very well, these demonstrations have nothing to do with the cost of living. Because that very man was in government through the handshake. That time, Unga was 230. We have brought it down to 170, 180. Then he did not call for demonstrations. Therefore, it cannot be about the cost of living. It is just being consistent to use blackmail 
to use violence to force the president to accede part of government. So we request our spiritual leaders to be considerate and consider all circumstances and also look at history because history informs the present and the future. Let, as you ask president to sit with that man, look at his history. And that is why in a school like this one, when these boys are leaving, the principal will do a living certificate to express, to explain their conduct for the four years they were here. You look at that man and look at his history, and then you can do a living certificate for him, and you, you can assure as December 25 is Christmas, all the paragraphs will have something to do with violence and blackmail. So please let us not push our president to commit a crime unless we have made our laws to remove blackmail as a crime in the penal code. We'll be asking the president to engage in crime and to sit with the criminals. And that is why, Your Excellency, we want to thank you for living up to your oath of office to protect life and property. And you are rise we were to because he is magnanimous. Even after beating them, wakiwa na uhuru na kila kitu wagali wana mutharau. Wana fikiri ati watalete fujo. Najua hapa kikwetu kikuyuni iko wimbo inaimwa inasema ile mutu wabaye humujui unaweza ita eka mutu. Mm. So for what has happened in the last three days, you know who is this man. So tuheshimiane. Tuheshimiane kwa sababu heshima ni ya maana. Kila mutu wafanya kazi yake, wale wamepewa kazi ya kuuliza maswali, waulize. Bishops, you criticize us where we go wrong and we accept. But how always take into context what has created the present scenario. And then you can correct us, you can guide the president, you can ask him, but you must always look at what has led to the current situation. Vijana Mbo. Sidimeona Dindi ya metoa 500,000. Munataka niongeze kitu? Munataka niongeze nini? Yeah? Adi? Oh, ninunue soda? Munapeda soda? Munataka hile maneno ingine? Aya, mimi taongeze hile 